This is a short uh, explanation on how one can use the uh, sort component in Grasshopper. As you can see, I have a few points already in uh, Rhino. Notice that some of them are at the uh, Z0 level and some of them are uh, in the positive Z and on the negative Z. Let me rotate the viewport so that you can see my points all over the place. So the idea first is to drag and drop a point uh, parameter and collect all these uh, points. Let me uh, collect them. Perfect. Now that I have all those points, it is a good idea sometimes to find out how many of those you have. As you can see, uh, we have more or less uh, nine points. Now, here is the tricky part. I want to decompose all these points, right? Because I want to sort the points with all the Z values. And I already have that. So let's go to uh, the set uh, tab and look for one that says uh, sort list. You got plenty. There, I found it. Sort list. Now, what is it that we want to use as the key for sorting our list? Well, we need the Z values. So we connect the Z values into K and at the same time connect all the points to A. This way I have two sorts at the same time. And let's check the output. Notice that Z is sorted out, minus 7, minus 4, etc. Now let's uh, reverse that list. Okay. And at the same time, reverse the points. Do not forget that. So now I have 10, 7, 4, 3, etc. And I have all my points in order. In order to better see the values of the points, okay, notice that that's more or less a 10, this is a minus 7, so you get the idea. Now, I would like to see the values x, y, z. So let me uh, decompose and create one more time the points and now you can see how they are formed. Really cool, right? Notice the Y. It is at uh, 10. If I go to the top viewport and I move all these points to 0, Y0, zero, notice that they also change over here. So, the last thing I want to show you or do is um, add another sticker to 
the uh, z values. Okay? So, there you go. This is another way to use this uh, great component, the sort. Thank you.